Guys, I've been asked about 50 times, will you please tell us what went on at the Texas 2K? Now, I know part, it's all history now. It's all already happened. You've got 50 versions of it and been here, been there. So I'll just give you the one. And I talked with the guys down at Motion today. And the first thing he said was, you do a video on the Texas 2K? I said, no, we're going to do one tonight. That's what we're going to do. So with that in mind, how did it all come about? And why was I there and my team not there? We got too many pregnancies in this outfit. <laughs> not, not me, of course. Not, not. When we started out there, well, way before Texas 2K, I asked Cletus, I said, are we going out there today? And he said, nah, it's going to be pretty close to the delivery date of his child. And then George is coming around. Lots of, and then, of course, Dave, he's coming around too. And I said, well, okay, then should I count on it or not count on it? I said, right now, I wouldn't count on it. So as the date got closer, I said, well, are we going to go or not? No, I don't think we're going. Well, as, as things would happen about that same time, Doug from Motion Industries said, hey, <laughs> assign him to me for a week. I need a crew member to go with Brett, Brett LaSala, over there to it, and we've got an open seat, and give him to me for a week. So Cletus said, there he is, take him. So that's how the, uh, when you guys, when you came up to me over there, where's your crew at? Well, I'm with the Cletus crew, that's who I'm with, but I was, I, was, I was over there with the motion group, and that's how that came about. My crew wasn't there, but we were with all the others. So that's that explains a little bit of how that I was there, crew wasn't there. Did I get fired? No, I didn't get fired, just didn't have my crew there. But did we do what we came there to do? Oh my, yes. How about that green Mustang? Is that thing a bullet or what? My goodness. Going over there, we just took, we, we went small. We didn't even take a lot of merchandise. Matter of fact, we took a, a Duramax towed with a single trailer. And over we went, took about uh, 16 or 18 hours, something like that. And you know, along the way, some of the marks that you, you kind of do your journey by, the amount of buckies that you're gonna go by. <laughs> well, we do the same. So we had two buckies we had to stop at. And I tell you, that's, that's an adventure within itself. No racing goes on there, not much. So by the time we got in, got all of our stuff, got out, wow, that added a lot to that. Got over to the speedway and uh, I tell you, you Texans are the salt of the earth. Great people there, great people. We were a little late getting there, but I said, all right, Ben, you've come so far and you just happen to know the owner and all like that. Well, they did let us in. So we got in and it was a little cool, but we had taken enough clothing to be warm had us a place there to, to sleep and got all situated for the night. And that was on Monday that we went. So then Tuesday, Brett says, well, we're gonna go out and make one run. Set us, you know, kind of a base for the whole thing. See where, so we can see where we are, who the competitors are. So we went out and made a run. Hey, and wouldn't you know, that run stood up all weekend. I mean, stood up the entire week. Well, that, that was good. Of course, it wasn't no, he didn't set up, I thought to be a, a, a pretty good run. He said, no, it's an easy one on the thing. So anyway, it lasted for the whole time, right on up through to the finals and still never had to run the car real hard. But quite beside the point, when you've got a car of that caliber, you don't have to run it real hard. So did we do what we came there to do? Sure did. But I wanna say a, a thank you to all of the people that came out. You Texans are, you guys are loyal fans. There was one day we had a rain out. Now here's how loyal and Texas fans are. They were sitting out there in the stands with the poncho stuff up there. They knew it was a rain out there, they already canceled the race. They stayed anyway. <laughs> it was great. I, I love them Texans, they're great. So anyway, we had that, that was a cancellation of one day. So there's some things around there we done, went to a couple of the museums and all. Next day is back onto the race schedule. And what a schedule that it was. Uh, we got to make a couple of eighth mile hits, which we wanted to see how we were doing, and the old car was performing very well. So we got all shined up and ready for it today that it was coming for it only. Meanwhile, we had a lot of people come by that wanted, you know, pictures and autographs and merchandise, which we didn't have room to take merchandise only. But I can tell you guys, we won't, that won't happen again. We come there again, we're gonna have plenty of merchandise on it. And you fans, please come back. My, my merchandise will be there the next time. We'd ordered it this time, just wasn't in in time. 
you Texas fans, I'll tell you what, you guys know how to tell the other fans what it's all about. So when you guys come to race, you come to race. When you come out there to be fan support, you guys are fan support, and I thank you very much. Now, that's not to say that there weren't people there from all over. A lot of people from out of country, I mean to tell you, a lot of Canadians I met, a lot of them from a lot of UK people I met, a lot of Ukraine, Ukra I met some guys from Ukraine there on the thing. Anyway, met them from all over, and thank you guys so much. And it was just for that race that they came for. We tried to put on a good show, which I think we did. And the GTRs put, well, the whole crowd, we won't take it away from anybody. The whole crowd of race cars that was there put on a good show. We had a few little minor crashes, but no, wasn't bad. Nobody got hurt. Uh, one of the cars that Brett run one time, got a little squirrely and kind of got a couple of concrete burns on it. But some of that's racing on the thing. We get a little excited and we dial them up a little more to maybe what we should at the line. And, and sometimes the car won't take it. And then there we are. We're done in for that race on it. So as it came down to the, uh, coming down to the finals, and we had a, an opportunity to uh, go to a couple of places around. Now there in Ennis, which is the little town where the racetrack is, but to my way of thinking, they got some pretty good restaurants there. They got one steakhouse way out in the country that that thing is worth attending. And then there's a couple downtown, a couple of uh, real good Mexican food restaurants. And you guys treated us royally. Yeah, they were set up for it. There was lots of uh, policemen there for the event, but they were, uh, let's see, let's put it this way. They knew what we were about, so they weren't uh, happy ticket riders, if you will. It's like, hey guys, come on, uh, keep it down, which we did. So when it come final time, uh, on later on in the week, we had went through the competitors, and I tell you what, that Brett went through the competitors like a big buck deer goes through a new cornfield on the thing. That boy was having, <laughs> and he's so confident, and that smile that he has, I mean, it's electrifying. I said, what do you think, Brett? And he said, yeah, he said, we got this, we got this. Not, not think we got it, he said, we got this. I said, I, I said, you know, there's some pretty big guns back there. And he said, do you see any of them faster than me? And I said, no, but I said, there could be some sandbaggers back there. And he said, no, he said, they've got out all the stuff that they want to. I said, all right, all right. So sure enough, when we got down to it, come to the last run, we're down to the finals and, uh, I was over with him and uh, lined up to it, and I said, what do you think? And he said, well, he said, in view of now, this was this is fact, so I'm not telling you something that didn't happen. Usually, when you tell something like this, somebody says, ah, racer's excuse for them not winning. But the lights, if you look, sometimes if you get a chance, look at the lights, especially on the left-hand lane, that you hit pre-stage, and then just as soon as you're in pre-stage, why the, the bulbs start to flicker just a little bit. So it, it gives an indicator that you're there at stage, but it's not. So when you, you're pulling up a little more, a little more, a little more, and you think, I should be there. And if you stop, it'll red light you because you're not in it yet. Well, anyway, they, they were aware that something was wrong, but anyway, hopefully they've got it fixed by now. I expect that they have. So one time, Brett's uh, ticket gave him a triple O. And he said, no, I don't run triple O's. He said, something's wrong with the timers. Well, come to find out there was a lot of triple O's throughout you know the whole events but that's okay maybe they did have that many we'll give them the benefit of a doubt come to final here we were lined up on it he says i'm going to stage soft and uh he said i'm going to set just a, a little bit he said my time will be way off on the on the uh, reaction time and he said i'll pull up go by and win and i said okay <laughs> sure enough when he left while well, the other guy left first but yeah Pull up, and on he went. So anyway, that was, we got a nice dinner out of it. Brett got the big prize, which he should. He's the driver. And that's uh, that's what we went there to do, was to claim the big prize, and we did. Now, with that in mind, a big surprise for me while I was there, my oldest daughter and her family live in, in uh, oh, about 30 or 35 miles from there, and up near the Dallas area, and they came down. as a surprise to me, I think. So it was quite a surprise. They have four children. They came down. as one day when was having a roll racing. They had an enjoyable time there, and we done a few videos with them just for their home video set up on it, and that was quite a surprise for me. It was really a, a treat for me. Where we were staying, they had, we'd rented us like a fifth wheel, 
you know, and they brought it over and left it there for us. Now, like I say, it was a little bit cool. And now my team, they like it cool at night when they sleep, you know? I mean, they like, I don't know, it must have been zero in there. I don't know what it was on it. But now, near the foot of my bed on the wall there, guess what was there? A little heater. <laughs> well, we turn the heater on. It was immediate heat. It felt so nice. Anyway, I had to cut that thing kind of cornered, you know. Well, one night I forgot to lift it on for most of the night. So Brett gets up and he says, man, you trying to burn the place down? <laughs> so I cut it off, got covered and it's okay. So then after we finished the race, a little side note there, after we finished the race, well, we get everything loaded up and we're headed back. Well, like I said, we've got everything staged by Bucky's, you know. So there's one locally there. I say locally within five or 10 miles. So we stopped, filled up, then there's one more there around the Florida line or so that we stopped again for. But the trip back was uneventful. When I say uneventful, I'm grateful for that. And there was no accidents, no near accidents, uh, no traffic holdups on it. Uh, we got back in, it took us about 18 hours to come back. Got back into the motion shop around 9.30 or 10 o'clock, coming back, got everything unloaded, unloaded that rapid ride thing. <laughs> that is such a, you know, that car's like a well-behaved child. You'll go out there and race, you know, come back and say, okay, anything else you need me to do? No, and just sit over there. And we had a lot to do between rounds. <laughs> check the fuel, check the oil. Yeah, it's all good. Put a little fuel in it, everything's good. Okay, let's go watch a race. And then go back and it's ready to go up to race again, crank it up and go. That's, I like to go to races like that. Then the event was over, so all of us and got back to our shops here. So Doug asked us, well, what, what about the event? And so, well, we went there to win the race. We won the race, and we was out there well representing Motion Industries on it. Which, once again, you Texans, thank you so much for your hospitality. It means a lot to us. The only thing we do appreciate you.